Hi, Greg with Green here with another quick tip for you. On the new R32 flex units, as you're well aware, by government protocol, we have to have an A2L sensor in there because R32 is a mildly flammable refrigerant. So what I want to talk to you about today is what happens if we do reach a concentration level high enough to actually set off that alarm in the air handler. On this particular unit, on the air handler, that A2L sensor is located right here down on the coil. What we're going to do is we're going to set off the alarm, force it to go into air, and I'll show you what it does. So with that, let's get to it. Okay, once it goes into alarm, there's a speaker on the indoor board that gives you an audible tone. It forces the blower to go to high speed. The outdoor unit will give you the EA air code and the compression shuts down immediately. On the rewired controller, it will also show refrigerant detection air, meaning that it has reached the concentration level to actually set off the alarm. While in alarm, both the electric heat nor the heat pump is allowed to run. So even though when it went in alarm, you seen the outdoor fan was still running, I can assure you the compressor shut off immediately. Once that dissipation level drops to where the sensor can reset, it will reset. And when it resets, the outdoor heat pump can actually return to heating mode. And if you had the electric heat on, the electric heat will be allowed to resume operation as well. If you're using a rewire controller, it'll say refrigerant detection air until you hit a button on there and then it'll resume your normal settings, provided it's not actually in alarm anymore and the EA air code on the outdoor unit will go away. But also keep in mind, if we've had a leak large enough to actually set the thing off in alarm, there's a good possibility the machine may end up going out on another air code because of the fact that it's low on the refrigerant. So I hope that gives you a good insight on what happens when it goes into um, alarm with the A2L sensor. With three, we're by your side.